Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rudder Lessons and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I hope that this video finds you well. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at a fragrance that came out in 2019. I remember when this fragrance first launched, it was getting a lot of hype. A lot of reviewers on YouTube here were praising it. And in today's episode, I'm excited to tell you if I think it's worth the hype. This one is actually a flanker of a flanker. It's by the company Issey Miyake and it's called Nuit de Say pulse of the night, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin my fragrance review of Nuit de Say Pulse of the Night by Issey Miyake, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, interviews, and pretty much anything having to do with fragrances, please do consider supporting this channel. It would really mean a lot to me. All you have to do is click on that red button to subscribe. And this way, whenever I do put out these videos, they will get delivered straight to your feed. And while you're at it, please be sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. So like I said, this one came out back in 2019. I actually tried this fragrance for the first time back in February of this year, 2020. I was actually traveling abroad and I smelled this at duty free and I ended up let's just say falling in love with it. I think this is a fantastic fragrance and I told myself when it first came out, having had tons of experience with the brand, of course, the original came out in the mid 90s. And then of course we had Nuit de Say, which is a flanker of the original, came out a few years later. This one is a flanker of a flanker. So this one is Nuit de Say, Pulse of the Night. And I knew I had to get a bottle of this. And serendipitously, this bottle was sent to me for review by perfumeonline.ca. This video is being shot in collaboration with that company. They are a fantastic company to deal with. They have fantastic prices on a lot of hard to find niche and designer fragrances. I'm going to leave a link to that company down below to where you can check out this fragrance as well as many other fragrances at a really good price. And as you could probably tell by taking a look at the title down below, there is going to be a full bottle giveaway attached to this video for a full bottle of this fragrance. Of course, all you need to do to enter the giveaway is go to perfumeonline.ca check out all of the fragrances that they carry, come back to this video and leave one comment down below and let me know if you had to purchase anything from perfumeonline.ca, what would it be? And that's all you gotta do and I will enter you to win a full size bottle of this fragrance. And of course, I'm gonna be picking the winning comment in one week's time. So make sure to come back to this video in one week to see if you've won as the winning comment will be pinned to the top of the comment thread. I'm so excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance and of course, let you know if I think it's worth the hype. I might've already spoiled that aspect of it, but let's go ahead and start things off with the presentation. So the box for this fragrance has these horizontal gold lines on it that kind of remind me of blurred lights in motion. All of your pertinent information may be located on the bottom of the box and the back of the box has all your ingredients. Now the bottle for this has that same gold line motif on the front. All of your information is printed on the bottom and the cap for this fragrance does click into place very securely, but it is a heavy bottle. So please don't pick this one up from the cap. The distribution on the atomizer is very wide. Let's continue with the smell. Now, as soon as this fragrance opens up, the first thing that I thought to myself is, this is niche quality. Now, I know that that's kind of a silly thing to say sometimes because there's really no such thing as designer quality or niche quality. I mean, a lot of times when people say designer quality, I think they mean a mass marketed scent or smell, something that reminds them of what everybody else is doing in the industry. But how many Baccarat Rouge clones are we seeing among designer fragrances, whether it's Burberry or Zara or whatever. And so now this term is really just a misnomer and it's really lost its meaning throughout the years. So there really isn't any such thing as niche quality. But the reason why I was inclined to apply that label to this fragrance is because it reminds me of Herod by Parfum de Marly. And I went on Fragrantica only after having made that connection and I saw that a lot of people are actually agreeing with me. It has this 
vanillic tobacco honey-like quality in here, which I think is absolutely amazing and to die for. And I also think it's the aspect of this fragrance that makes it such a fantastic cold weather fragrance. Now, here's the thing. I think this smell is going to be an acquired taste for a lot of people. And despite the fact that, yeah, it came out in 2019 and it has received rave reviews, I think a lot of people still haven't put their nose on this fragrance and they absolutely must. Now, if you are a fan of the original Lotus A Pour Homme by Issey Miyake, that's not to say that you're going to like this one because they are a night and day difference. Night, you see what I did there? No, but really they are polar opposites. One of them has this bright, fresh yuzu lotus flower thing going on in there. Mid-90s release, of course, it's been around for a very long time and a lot of people will inevitably associate it with the mid-90s. But this one is so modern and contemporary, but it also has this dark and mysterious quality about it which let's be honest, I think that's what the brand was going for. They wanted to make a fragrance appropriate for the nighttime. If you're going to a club, if you're going to a bar, if you're hanging out with a bunch of friends, but also wearing it in the colder weather, you know, the dark aesthetic of the fragrance kind of implies that. And so it has that amber accord. It has the spiciness. It has that peppery quality about it. It has the cedar wood in here and these other woodsy notes that really darken up the composition, but it also has this sweet, overtone and this honeyed like tobacco nuance about it that I absolutely love. Now, I know one of the most concentrated notes, especially according to what other people are saying about this fragrance, is this note of olibanum, otherwise known as frankincense. But myself personally, olibanum to me has this lemony pine kind of a smell and i'm not getting that from this fragrance there are a lot of fragrances that actually do smell like olibanum to me quite strongly one of them being decibel by Azzaro. and when you compare that fragrance to fragrances like cardinal by healy full incense by montal avignon by comme de garçon these are fragrances that have a very strong olibanum note and if you know what these fragrances smell like you unquestionably know what olibanum smells like I'm not getting that from this fragrance. So is it incense -y? Maybe in the context of it being dark and smoky and resinous, then yes, absolutely, it's incense -y. But does it have that lemony pine smell that I typically associate with olibanum? No. Nothing about this smells lemony. Nothing about this smells fresh. It's dark. It's incense -y. It's woodsy. It's resinous. You definitely also have that spicy green patchouli thing going on in here but it's more of a dry patchouli as opposed to like a damp and earthy patchouli. Although there is an earthiness in here, don't get me wrong, but I do feel like the earthiness in large part is coming from the woods. So you are going to get that spicy cedar wood sort of a fragrance with these resinous balsamic ingredients in the base, but I just can't seem to shake that Herod nuance, right? It's reminding me of Herod by Parfum de Marly so much. And I think that for that reason, this one is a fantastic fragrance for the colder weather and it's also an inexpensive alternative to Herod without of course you know smelling identical. I don't think it smells identical to Herod. It just sort of possesses a nuance in the opening that will immediately drive your mind to make that connection. But all in all fantastic fragrance for the colder weather. Whoever wins this is going to be in luck, especially if you don't already own it. I'm sure a lot of you already do because it's received so much love. And if you don't own it, once again, all information is going to be down below to where you can check it out. I think it's a stunning fragrance. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, okay, don't throw rocks at me. I don't think it's super unique. I do find that this one smells kind of similar to Herod by Parfum de Marly. But I guess this is one of the benefits of having a designer fragrance that bears such a close resemblance to a niche fragrance is that oftentimes that niche counterpart will sell for like $300 at full retail as opposed to something like this, which is quite affordable. And so all of that information is going to be down below if you do want to get this fragrance for a really good deal while it's still available at this good price. But I don't find it to be super unique, but the overall smell is so addictive and so intoxicating 
the vanilla, the amber, the warmth, the peppery nuance, the patchouli, the incense. It's a great fragrance, very well put together. In terms of the longevity, expect about eight hours on your skin. I know given all of the ingredients, you would expect it to be like 10 plus hours or 12 plus hours. It's not a monstrously performing fragrance in that vein, but I do feel like given how long it does last on my skin, you know, eight hours, seven hours, that's enough for me. It definitely gets me through my workday, especially if you're wearing it in a climate controlled environment and you're not wearing it in the dead of winter, outside, running errands, shoveling snow or something like that. It'll last a good amount of time on your skin. Projection was great for the first two hours of application. It started to sit very close to the skin at that six hour mark. Versatility might be a little compromised for this one because like I said, I think this one, given the depth of a lot of these heavy ingredients, I would be more inclined to wear this one in the colder weather. If you're going to wear this one in the summer, just make sure you apply lightly and make sure you're going to be spending most of your time indoors in a climate controlled environment. I think this one is perfectly unisex despite it being marketed for men. And I think this one might be more of a special occasion kind of a fragrance, but at that affordability, I think you can really wear it whenever you want. Again, at the end of the day, these are just recommendations. So take what I say with a grain of salt. Presentation on this one is I love the horizontal lining on the bottle. I think it's a cool accent while not being too different from the original Nuit to say, but I do like the presentation for this one. So my final verdict on this fragrance is I think that this is a fantastic designer release that is only you know, halted by the lack of uniqueness and perhaps a little bit on the lack of versatility, but otherwise for a niche quality designer fragrance and one that is a fantastic fragrance to own in the colder weather. This is definitely one that I'm happy that I finally acquired and I'm hoping that somebody at home can have the opportunity to own this one as well by participating in this full bottle giveaway. Again, all you need to do is go to perfumeonline.ca. All of their information is going to be down below. Check out all of the brands that they carry or at least scan the website for a little bit. Try to figure out what fragrance would you purchase from them if you had the opportunity to buy anything from them. Come back to this channel and leave a comment down below and I'm going to be picking the winning comment in one week's time by pinning the comment to the top of the comment thread. So once again, make sure to check back on this video in one week to see if you've won. So thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. That was my fragrance review on Nuit de Say Pulse of the Night by Issey Miyake. If you own or have tried this fragrance, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. I always love reading and responding to your comments. And of course, if you took something of value from this video, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. I would really appreciate that so much. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye.